Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Francesca and today's video is all about affirmations. So in today's video, I'll be covering what are affirmations, how you can use affirmations in the manifesting process, um, the importance of how you word your affirmations, and then writing affirmations based on your goals. So if you're interested in learning how to use affirmations uh, to your benefit, stick around and I'll show you how starting right now. So you may be asking, what are affirmations? So affirmations are sentences aimed at reprogramming the subconscious and conscious mind so that in turn it changes our behavior, our thoughts, um, our habits, and our environment around us. Um, this also helps to keep our goals in the forefront of our mind which brings us to number two. How can you use affirmations um, for manifesting? So, so, how are affirmations used in the manifesting process? So, affirmations help to keep your goals in mind, um, which then helps to motivate you to take action. Um, so, this is especially good if you're repeating these affirmations on a daily basis, um, which, you know, like I said before, is keeping these goals, um, you know, in your mind um, on a daily basis so that you're constantly thinking about them um, and it'll help motivate you to take action, um, you know, towards your goals. So, the process of repeating these affirmations also um, helps to bring an image to mind based on your goals. Um, so, you know, whatever your goal may be, there's an image that your mind is now associating with that goal. And by bringing forth that image, um, your mind, your subconscious and your conscious mind cannot tell whether that is, you know, fake, you know, it's imaginary or if it's real. Um, your your mind can't tell the difference. It just, you know, it sees it and, you know, that's now a possibility to your mind. Um, so this is, you know, this is especially, um, you know, important, you know, this, this imagery in your mind, especially if you have um, an emotion behind it because having an image and an emotion behind it um you know makes it even stronger in manifesting because your brain now sees it as real because you have an emotion behind it so um this brings us to number three which is the importance of how you word your affirmations so you always want to write um your affirmations in the present tense um, your subconscious mind uh, doesn't know the difference between uh, past and future. All it sees is the here and now. So when you write your affirmations, you want to write them in the present tense. Um, you never want to write your affirmations with um, negative like wording or connotation. You never, like for example, you if you say, I want... Um, you are implying to your subconscious mind that you currently don't have it. Um, and and that is um, makes your mind think like, well, when am I going to have this? It, it, it doesn't help your mind think like, okay, I'm, I'm going to get this. It now creates doubt in your mind. Um, so when wording your affirmations, you want to begin with, I am. Um, I am is in the present tense. Um, so this tricks your mind into thinking that it currently has it. Um, therefore, it doesn't create any doubt. And, you know, creating doubt in your mind is, like I said before, is making it think like, well, when will this happen? Um, you also want to stick with positive words. You never want to use, like I said before, I want, um, you know, I need or um, like, you know, people using debt and affirmations. I've, I've heard that too. Um, you know, this creates um, the, the feeling of lack and it tells the universe that you currently don't have it and it's that you're lacking it. 
Um, so to kind of clarify this, um, I'll be going over how to write your affirmations based on your goals. And I'm going to share some of my goals and how I'm going to write affirmations based on those goals. So um, I wrote down these are my goals for this coming month. Um, so one of them is to wake up earlier, make more money, which we would all like to do. Um, number three is um, be an entrepreneur. Number four is to eat healthier. Uh, number five is to get fit. And number six is to be more consistent. Um, so with these goals, I'm going to show you how I would word um, my affirmations. So number one is I want to wake up earlier. So I am going to begin with I am. And um, that's pretty much how you want to start all of your affirmations with I am because that is in the present tense and it's saying that you currently are or it, that it's happening. So I am, I'm going to say an early riser. I wake up before the sun so I wrote down I am an early riser I wake up before the sun and this is um, an affirmation that I'm going to repeat every day so that I can in hopes of waking up early uh, number two is that I want to make more money so Number two is make more money. So I wrote down, I am abundant and prosperous. I attract opportunities for wealth. And then number three is I want to be an entrepreneur. So I wrote, I am an entrepreneur. I provide people with services based on my talents. So number four is eat healthier. So I am. I am making healthier eating choices that nourish my body. Number five is I want to get fit, which is a lot of everybody's goal. Um, and for those of you who know me, you might be like, why is she trying to get fit? She's already skinny. Um, but uh, a lot of people don't know is that like when I was younger, I was like super skinny and I got picked on a lot for being skinny. Um, so I'm still kind of thin. Um, but the reason why uh, I want to get fit is just like I want to, I want to say get toned. I also want to gain like healthy weight. So increase my body mass, but with like muscle um, so that I don't look so thin. I got some, you know, a little bit of toneness, some meat. So in this one, I gave myself kind of some ideas of what I can do. So I put, I am exercising every day, whether that be yoga, running, or body weight workout. Um, I didn't say going to the gym because for me, going to the gym would kind of like be harder for my mind to like believe because um, I don't really, like going to the gym seems like so, uh, you know, uh, intense. Yeah, it seems intense. So when I say body weight workout, I'm like, okay, well, that's something I can do here at home, um, you know, and like work out here at home. So that's more believable for me. Um, so you always want to write something that's going to be more believable for you. And like I said before, um, if it's harder for your mind to like really believe it, you can always say I am in the process of uh, getting fit. You know, and you can say by I'm in the process of getting fit by running and doing yoga. Um, and that way your mind, it's more believable for you because you're in the process of it. You, you know, you're not like saying like I am, which is might be hard for some people to like, you know, let that saying fake it till you make it. Um, but yeah, so that's a little tip. Um, and then number six for me is to be more consistent. So... 
with that one, I am going to write, I am, and for me, being consistent means just being consistent, like, with my goals. So I am consistent in my actions, which line up with my goals. Um, so those are just some examples of um, some affirmations that I wrote based on my goals. Uh, if you need help writing down affirmations based on your goals, share with me in your comments below um, your goals and I can help you write affirmations um, based on your goals. Uh, so th this is something that I'll, I'll be tearing out of this journal and I'll probably be posting it up like on uh, post-it notes, like individually I'll like put post-it notes on uh, my bathroom mirror um, with each goal and then while I'm brushing my teeth I'll like repeat those goals so that in the morning when I brush my teeth I see those and I repeat them in the evening before I go to sleep and I brush my teeth I see them and I repeat them as well then um, you can also I've heard of some people uh, like they'll post it like you know on a piece of paper you know in their bathroom because <laughs> when you're sitting you spend a lot of time in the bathroom so when you're sitting there in the bathroom uh you can like read them or you know somewhere where you're gonna be consistently seeing these every day um and i'll probably be posting some over here um on my desk so when i'm here working i can you know look up and i'll see those and it's just basically anywhere that you're going to constantly see them and keep them in mind um, so that you can repeat these and you know repeating these are just going to ingrain it into your subconscious mind and your conscious mind especially before you go to sleep is really good because that's when your subconscious mind takes over so if you're repeating these before you go to sleep you're ingraining them in your subconscious mind uh, which is you know even better um but yeah so like i said before this is how you write your affirmations you know if you have any further questions on what are you know want to go further into depth with affirmations i know this was kind of like a quick video uh but yeah if you like this video leave me a big thumbs up um don't forget to subscribe if you're interested in learning more about how you can um change your life because we are our own genies i've said this before you know the, we have infinite amount of wishes and the power is in your mind um so yeah I uh, hope you all have a blessed and prosperous day. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe and check out my other videos. Yeah, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.